thing. Well, one, one of the first things you need to do in any collection is identify what your materials are. The first thing you need to is, is it film or is it tape? If you can see a picture through it or it's got holes or sprockets along the edges, it's film. It's not tape. You cannot see through tape. Tape just looks like a blank ribbon. The next thing you need to do is identify, is it audio or video? It's going to make a big difference in your collection. And if you deal with a vendor, it's going to make a big difference there. You also need to know what you need to be able to describe the material. Anything that's on an open reel, a single reel, is described by the width of the tape, how wide the tape is between the two flanges of the reel. Cassettes, on the other hand, usually have a name, like a VHS or a Beta SP. You also want to be able to describe how big they are. You can either physically describe it in terms of inches, or you can say, on the back of any reel of tape, it will describe how long the tape is, such as a 90-minute 2-inch tape is 9,720 feet long. On the, somewhere on any cassette, it will also give the number of minutes it has. Instead of giving a length in feet, it will say 90 minutes or 120 minutes or 30 minutes. These are very, very important things to know what's in your collection. And as I said, whenever you're dealing with a vendor, the vendor has to know what the material is that they're going to be dealing with. If you have audio tape, another very, very important thing is to determine if it's acetate or polyester. If you hold an audio tape up to the light and look through the side, if you can see light shining through the side of the reel, it's acetate. If you can't see any light, it's polyester. This is extremely important because the ways you, these things decay, the way you handle them, the things that need to be done, things that can be done with polyester will destroy acetate tape. So you must distinguish between these two different things. And these are really the, the primary things you need to be able to describe when you're talking to someone, otherwise they're not going to know what they're dealing with.